Okay, this is a question on the line of symmetry. Okay, so to do the question on line of symmetry, right, it's very easy. You just place your, this is a line of symmetry. Okay, so you place a ruler that forms a T shape with the line of symmetry. Can you see? A T. Okay, so and you, gen and you slowly slide down the ruler along the line of symmetry, still maintaining the T shape. So this is how it's going to be. So can you see that as you slide down, right? On this side, you see a, a corner, okay? The corner of the triangle, okay? And by right on the other side, it should also touch the corner of the triangle, okay? But you see that there is no, the corner of the triangle is not at this point, but it has this point, okay? So uh, there is a mismatch. So this is not the line of symmetry. Okay, so we do not put a tick. And another way that you can see the line of symmetry, right, is that if you fold this figure along this line of symmetry, they should match uh, perfectly. But if you were to fold it along this line, you find that it does not match. Okay, so this is not a line of symmetry. Okay, whereas if you look at this, uh, this star, right, same thing, this is the line of symmetry. Take a ruler, form a T. Okay, so as you slide down, can you see that this is a corner, okay? It will also touch the other corner, okay? So as you slide down, there's another corner here. It also touch that the corner that bend inwards, okay? As you slide down, okay, this corner matches with this corner, and as you slide down, it matches perfectly all the corner. So this is a, a line of symmetry. So this is a symmetrical figure. If you were to fold along this line, right? Okay, this uh, the left and the right side of the star will match perfectly. So this is a line of symmetry we put a tick. Okay, is that clear? Let's move on for B. Okay, so we need to uh, complete the figure uh, with x, y as the line of symmetry. Okay, so what we need to do, right? Same thing, we take the ruler, form a T shape with the line of symmetry and we slowly move it down, okay? So as you move to this column, right, you find that there is a shaded square on top. So there must be a shaded square at the bottom, okay, so that it match. So one on top, one at the bottom. So I shade. As you go to the next column, you find that there is a half, half a square and a full square. So as you move down, this should be a full square. Okay, then I, after that, I need to draw half a square, right? So half a square, do I draw it this way or this way? Okay, you, you look at how, how it's supposed to be like uh, in the given figure. It goes from top to bottom. Okay, so we are drawing a mirror image. So it has to be from the bottom to the top. So it goes like this. Okay, so if you were to fold along this line, they matches perfectly, right? So we move on to the next column. Okay, half and a full square. So this will be a full square. Okay, then the half, it goes from the bottom to the top. Okay, so from here, it goes, it will be from the top to the bottom. Okay, mirror image. Okay, then the next column is two on top. So I need two below, right? And the next one, from top, to bottom, then I have a full full square. So I draw the full square first, then from the bottom to the top. And lastly, I have one square on top, so one square below. Okay. So with this, I think we are done. Okay. If we were to fold the whole figure along this line of symmetry, they should match perfectly, right? 